Welcome guys to my creative corner. This is Claudette where I create projects using stamps, inks, papers, mixed media, embellishment, and a whole lot of joy. So today's project, I will be featuring this stamp set celebra celebrating tidings with its coordinating dies. And these dies are called celebration label dies. So I'm gonna be creating this cute little box, which I got this idea from the Paper Pixie. So go over and check out her channel. She has great little cute little boxes. And this is the exact box that she created and she created it for these Walker's shortbread. And these are excellent gifts for the holidays. So those shortbread comes in a box and you get a case of 24 in a box. It's individual wrap and see the, this is how it looks. So they have um, red and black plaid and they are so cute. So one of my friends had give me one of these cause she also made some of these treat boxes too. And these are delicious. So you could get them over on Amazon. So everything for the link is gonna be below. Go ahead and do check out the Paper Pixies channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and recreate those boxes that she did. Cause I made pretty much almost, I think I made like uh, 21. So this one I'm doing this video will be 22. So I'm gonna save the extra two to eat for myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's get that um, started. All right, so let's start out with the base of our card. All right, so the cardstock, I'm using your basic black cardstock. And um, so this is measuring a little shy of seven inches. Okay, so you're gonna put it on that little notch next to the seven inches there. A little shy of seven inches. And then you're gonna go three eighths of an inch. And you're gonna go to this mark right here after the three eighths of an inch. So that's what your measurement is gonna be for the base of your card. So next what we're gonna do is go ahead and score that. All right, so on the long side, we're gonna score at three and one eighth of an inch. Then we're gonna turn it over and um, we're gonna score at three and one eighth. Then we're gonna put it on the short side and we're gonna put it, and we're gonna score it at two and 15 sixteenths of an inch. And we're gonna keep it on that short side, just turn it on the other side, and we're gonna do it at two and 15 sixteenths of an inch. And that's the bar just before your three inches. Okay. Then you're gonna take a, some designer series paper and we're gonna use the dies. And we're gonna use this die, the second to the um, largest size die to make the top piece. And I just took some colorful paper and you go ahead, put your colorful paper down, you put your die down, you run it through your die cutting machine. And this is what I got. And then we're gonna go ahead and score that. So with this, I'm gonna bring in my, I'm gonna bring in my Simply Score tool. And then this little notch right here, we're gonna put it by the three inches here. So we're gonna go ahead and score at two and five eighths. And then we'll score at three and three eighths. Then we're gonna turn it around and you're gonna put that all the way here to the side. Let's see, just make sure this touches all the way to the side right there. And then we're gonna score at three fourths of an inch. We're gonna turn it on the opposite side, so the opposite side is over here. And then we're gonna put, score it again at 
three fourths of an inch. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and make some cuts and put our box together. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and cut alongside those grooves. So um, this is on the longer side and we're just gonna make some slits right here. And then you're gonna make another slit right here. Then you're just gonna put a little miter cut in this, which is you're gonna just take out a little triangle piece. If you could see that little piece right there. And we're gonna do it on this side too as well. So we're gonna turn it around and we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is that you're gonna take the end here, one of the ends, and you're gonna take a circle punch and you're just gonna create a notch. And this is a two inch circle punch and you're gonna put the circle in between the two score lines and then you're gonna go ahead and punch and make, um, just put it maybe three fourths of the way just to make a notch into that, okay? So once you have that notch, let's go ahead and do this, the top piece too as well. Okay, so we're gonna do the notch the same as we did with the bottom one. We're gonna cut along our score lines and we're gonna put a notch. And then we're gonna burnish that burnish those score lines. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our top um, lid together. Add some multi-purpose glue there. Do the same thing with the other tab. Add our multi-purpose glue. If you guys are getting any creative value from this, please go ahead and smash the like button down below. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload my latest videos. So when you put your glue here on this tab, you just wanna put it right up to that notch right there. Seal that over, make sure your edges are nice and even. And then you have a nice scallop lid. So we'll go ahead and put our box together. Let's go ahead and burnish those crease. So we're gonna go ahead and add some multi-purpose glue to our tabs. And those tabs, we're gonna go ahead and stick that to the side without the notch. We're gonna make sure that those edges are nice and even. And so we'll go ahead and do that to our opposite side as well. So now we're gonna add some glue along these edges. And then we're just gonna bring that out, making sure our edges, especially to the top, you wanna make sure those are lined up nicely. 
Then we're going to add some glue to the other side. And we're going to go ahead and close that in. And then we'll just bring one of our Walker's shortbread cookie in, stick that in, and then you put your lid. On, and then we'll just decorate that. And I'm gonna use this black glitter Ogandi ribbon. And let's go ahead and tie a bow. Let's just snip our ends. Let's just take a blue dot and secure, hold our bow down. And then we'll add our label to that. And I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back of that label. And you could just glue this down. You don't have to add any dimensionals to yours. Add a little gem. I'll just add a little magenta madness gem there. And that's just something that's a different color. I like the idea of creating these box of um, cookies. I mean, it's a little extra step, but it's just worth it. Or you could just put a little bowl on the cookies because they have that nice little wrapping on there with a gift tag on there. So I made a lot of these here. And so my favorite combo that I created was this one right here. I just love the combo on that with the green, red, and the gold. And you could match it up with a nice, a cute card. And I thank you guys for tuning in to My Creative Corner. This is Claudette, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.